Hello everybody and welcome to my Let's Play EU4. I'm your Chief Taranka and currently playing as the... Oh wait, what is it? Is it the Kingdom? As the despotic monarchy of Albania. Um, this is episode 3 of my achievement run campaign. And we are no longer at war. In the last episodes we finished our war with uh, the Ottomans and with Bosnia. And we still survived. Oh, we, we survived, so we're still around. And that's nice. I mean, we, we have this lovely alliance with Austria. And we're working on an alliance with Poland. Yeah, that would be preferable. Now, we're losing money right now because I need the, the advisor's advisor, the diplomatic reputation guy. Uh, his name is Luigi Kimiri or something like that. And we need him because I need to get the land with Poland. Well, actually, it doesn't seem like we'll, we would really get the... Well, how much? Okay, we can get some more opinion, but... Hmm. Well... I'm not sure if that, if that will work. Anyways, so maybe it's smarter if I just disband this guy right now and just focus on Austria as our buddy. Um, yeah, but anyway, I was... I, I had the problem that this province is way too far away from our closest unblockaded core province with a port. Uh, so it's probably out of range. Now, I think the, the fix for this... I think it's stupid that it's this way. I think a fix for this would be if I would abandon my core right here. That would cost me 10 prestige, but you know, what, sh what should I do? So I'll abandon this core right here. And now I should be able... Well, maybe once the man uh, a month has passed, I should be able to core this. Still not able to court. Um, well, that's, I mean, that's a bug. And that's a bad bug. Because, you know, what I'm supposed. How? How should I court it? Can I court over here? I can't make it a court. This is stupid. Alright, this makes no sense. I don't know if it's just a bug or if it's always in paradox but it's really bad idea that you know it must be I don't remember uh, having that uh, when my when doing my doing my first uh, playthrough I don't think that happened I think I could I could just core it and that's really a problem I mean now I lost my core here <sighs> all right well That that's I mean, that kind of annoys me actually. We'll see. So Ragusa is winning the war against Bosnia. What a surprise! Um, it's not it's intolerance. It's the same culture group. Oh man, this is this is bad. How much is a missionary gonna cost? Probably a lot. Yup. Quite a bit. Alright, so how's Poland? Am I able to get the alliance? Eight. So it's for Wow. For almost for ten relations, it, it seems like ten relations make up two points over here so I can increase like say let's say 60 so let's say 6 would be 12 more points it would be enough so I guess I can get the alliance with Poland I can get it started okay that's interesting oh my god my economy is tanking actually so I should abandon this guy just for a while Really? Proof prestige. Wow. 
Oh no. Um, our Skanderberg, awesome general. His kid at 342. Well, he's, he's, you know, decent. He's 27. Lose stability or lose prestige? I'd rather not lose any of it. Prestige, what I just do? Trade power, morale. Um, the relations over time. Proof relations. Hmm. Guess I'll lose stability. Uh, this is bad. I don't want to lose anything of it, but. And we have a 342 again. It just changed diplo and military. But that's okay. But he's only 9 years old. And we are 42. So hopefully we don't die. That would really that would be really bad actually. Okay. So once we get the alliance with Poland. I'm just gonna fire the guy, this guy right here, yeah, it says, wait, am I actually making money or is that just a joke? It says we're losing money, but apparently, if you look it up, ah, so I'm currently, no, oh, no, I lost money, okay, sale of titles, my lord, one of your advisors has adjusted selling off titles of nobility to anyone who can afford to pay. It would bring in lots of monies if we do. Uh, money, obviously. Uh, but it would devalue the idea of nobility and perhaps upset the existing aristocratic families. Should we do this? Gold is sound. Okay, so I can get money or stability. And I'd rather... I'm, I'm a big fan of stability, so... Hell yeah. There we go. Got our stability back. That's good. Could be a plus two stability. Poland is an elective monarchy, okay. Can we still get the alliance? Whatever. <laughs> I just want the alliance with Poland and Austria, and then I feel safe. I feel like I can take on... Per oh, at least defend against him. Oh, and the Ragusa got rebels! There might be the chance for Bosnia to actually do something about it. Actually fight him. Oh, he didn't. He didn't do it. Um. Yeah. So, England is losing. Pretty bad. Actually, it's so funny that Venice is over here in Ireland. It's very funny. Teutonic Order is still around. Allied to Hungary. And the Livonian Order. Is he allied to... Because in my in my France game, the Livonian Order was allied to Muscovy, and then it was a huge fight between Livonian Order and Muscovy and Denmark. It was really, really interesting to see actually. And I think they were also allied to Scotland, if I'm not mistaken. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay, so Poland, how about that alliance, man? Seven more. Oh my god, it's gonna take so long. I want that. Yeah, the Ottomans already took Byzantium. Or they already sieged it, at least. And the Pope is going to take Urbino. Who are you at war with? Savoy as well? And you allied with Genoa. Huh. Savoy, you at war with Papal State. And Castile declared war on Granada. Nice. Go get him, Ahmed. You know, this is really bugging me. They cannot core this province. I mean, this is just... This is stupid. This is really stupid. Like, do I need to have a province with a port? What is this? This is just not... This is just dumb. It really is. I mean, I, I sold my... Now, I thought that because I had a core down here, it would kind of... That would kind of, be, kind of be a problem. But it wasn't. So, I just lost a core. 
No reason. Oh, the Teutonic Order, no! Poland at war with the... Actually, who are you at war with? Uh, Hungary. Oh, this might be good for us! Um, so, if we get the alliance with Poland, he will call us in against Hungary. And then, if we can, like, maybe take Lika, we would have two things. First of all, we would border um, Austria, and we could uh, we would be able to join the HRE. And at the same time, we would have a port province, which would as hopefully allow to core our provinces. It would be perfect. Okay, we have conquest against this guy. Let me do the alliance thing now. Almost. Can we do... Primaris? Yeah, well that's what I'm thinking about. That's way better. Okay, good job. So now we can get the alliance easily. Good. So once we once we've taken the alliance, um, actually, let me fabricate a claim on Lika, and there you go. Offer the alliance, and once he has accepted, I will fire this dude. And I will probably have to fund my army because Poland is likely to call us in against uh, the Teutonic Order and Hungary. But we'll see. We'll see if they actually do it. Hungary. He's at war, yeah. He's allied to France, Provence, Milan, and Teutonic Order. He's good, he has good allies. But they make him go to war with other people. Okay, so Poland accepted, Austria likes us, okay, so what it means, I will have to fire this guy, bye, hopefully I got some money left now, can I fund my army, it'd be awesome if I could pay my soldiers, nice, <laughs> I actually get to pay my soldiers, nice, so you happy with me, he is, Poland's not yet fully happy, so I can keep improving relations with him. 11th of August. You wanna call me in, bro? I would I would love to be called- well, actually, do I want to be called in? Are you at war with Lithuania as well? He is. Okay, good. Because it looks like they're losing. They're actually losing. Poland is losing the war or the battle. That's interesting. I would love to take care of Lika. Although I'm probably not able to. Alright, hold on a second. Hmm, interesting. That little... Wow, they're getting crushed. So hopefully, since they're losing, they might call me in. And, well, I only want to be called in if they if they win the war. But I'm pretty sure they, they, they win the war. Pretty sure, actually. They usually do, so they should do. Should win. Oh, he's at war with Crimea, that's why. We are allied with Bohemia, Riga, Poland, and Genoa. And Crimea is currently at war with Genoa and Lithuania. Not with Austria! That is interesting because. Oh, did Genoa declare a war? Yeah, their attacker against Crimea. And they are allied to whom? Nobody. They have no allies. Wow. So the Hungarian army is following. And maybe he will squish the Polish army. He might. I mean, they're not looking healthy. Well, in that case then, I don't want to be called in to the war. Certainly not. I only want to be called in if there's something to grab for me. But maybe I can declare my own war. I mean, France is busy. He will probably not join. And Austria? He might be interested. He's definitely interested. So, so hold on now. Maybe oh, I don't have a Casus Belli. True. But once I have a, once I do, once I do have a Casus Belli, maybe I can declare war on Hungary. Yeah. So. Austria would join even with no 
Oh, but France will join as well. Okay, but if I get a proper Casas Valley, that would be really nice. I would help out Poland, I would be able to get Lika, maybe, and I would also... Yeah, it would be really nice. So that's that's a plan. Get the claim on Hungary, and then declare war on him. How many soldiers? I can get one more troop, but I can't afford it. So it's a bad idea. Oh! Oh my god! Can I do this? Is it working? It's not possible. Like, why? <laughs> this is... I can click the button. Do you wish to make... Yes, I wish to do that. But it... It doesn't work. Alright, this... This is a really, really bad bug. I'm just saying that. Because... Wow. Alright, go back to... Poland. And he's crushing the army. No. Lithuania is busy somewhere else. So if I would... Well, France would be annoying. But I think... He has actually... Five guys. Okay. He, he would call in... Milan, Provence. Oh, man. The Teutonic Order. That's not a bad idea. This is a bad idea to do that. He will call him France. Why would he call him France though? Oh, they're winning their war with England heavily. That's why. That's why they would uh, they would join. <sighs> Unfortunate. Who else are they allied to? The Bonin Order and Mecklenburg. So you're fighting. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, but there are English troops coming. Nice. So England hasn't given up yet. And Bosnia actually re sieged their province. It's interesting. The English have their troops over here. Hmm. I wonder if I can really do something about this. And Austria is probably at war with... He's not at war with Burgundy. Wait, who is the Emperor? It is Austria. Why is he not... He should defend Utrecht. Burgundy just declared war on... Didn't he just declare war on Utrecht? Burgundy is allied to Denmark and Castile. If Burgundy would declare war on France right now, I would be so happy. It would be the best thing ever. Go on, Burgundy. Declare war on France, and then I can declare war on Hungary. Oh my god. So, so interesting to... If you're not playing as a big nation, you really can't do quite a lot of things. You know... Get the big nations outsmart each other. <laughs> Alright, repaying one loan. And we got no money. Three more loans. Uh, two more loans, actually. Our economy is so trash, but, you know, it's all because it's no core. And that's really stupid. It shouldn't be that way. I mean, I understand. Oh, I think... I'm a big fan of auto-coring, like I think if if you have, like for example, we have one province and we take another one, and then that one province we just took becomes our only province, we should be able, oh, we should get an automatic core. I, I think it's just, that's how it should be. But even if it's not like that, it should still, you know, somehow, oh actually now Wait, who are you fighting? You're moving your troops, but you're not fighting. He's not fighting anyone. Oh, it's Switzerland and Bavaria that are fighting. And Utrecht declared war on Gallery. Okay. Interesting. What is this for? Bavarian conquest of Ulm. Okay. 
All right, so it seems like I'm not gonna go to war anytime soon. Well, I don't know. So Austria does have quite some troops. How's it going military wise? Total armies. England has the most troops. Then Castile is in Austria and Burgundy. Burgundy, you really should declare war on France. You definitely should. You have no manpower, that's true. But um, Castile, neither does Castile. Okay. Lithuania. Is Ottomans. Teutonic Order has 18,000 troops. That's amazing. Aragon Ottomans. Wow. Interesting. We actually got 10,000. Rebel Uprising. Serbian Patriots. I'd rather not have Serbian Patriots. Can I do something about it? Can I make this a core, please? Why can't I not make it a core? Man. Alright. Anyways. I'm gonna try one more time. And it didn't work, obviously. Alright. That was it for this episode today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, <laughs> if you did, no, if you did, please hit like or leave a comment below, you know, something nice. And if you want to see more of my videos, uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I hope to see you next time. That's Chief Draka, signing off.